Hey guys, this is Laura and I'm back with another video. Um, I was working on my 2024 planner, setting it up, my B6ology, um, and I thought why not go ahead and record what I was doing so that way I can make a video about it. And then my plans was to do a voiceover for the video um, because of course there was a lot of things going on around me. Um, and I didn't want to capture that on the video. However, it seems like with my 18 month old son, it is very, very hard <laughs> to um, film and even voice over. So you'll probably hear him in the background a little bit um, throughout this video. But basically all I wanted to do was to come on and show you guys that I am um, finishing my setup for January. And, and I kind of did a cover page for my February of 2024 now this uh b6 astrology that i have is not the 365 like i had the year before um this is the half year so the plan this year is to kind of keep my journaling separate from my planning um, i really did like my journaling in my planner in the 365 notebook that i had it did become kind of big as far as carrying it around However, so I think I'm going to see how far this particular half year notebook takes me as far as planning and then purchase another one. And I might end up purchasing two when I do purchase another one just because I really like the paper quality of the um, Stology notebooks. And I, I could totally see myself just having one for planning and then one for every day or daily journaling. So I am just basically going to continue uh, the, the video roll and so you can just see my process and maybe play you guys a little bit of music and then I'll come on at the end and uh, talk about my, my setup.
Okay, that was some um, probably messed up video, but um, I just kind of wanted to capture me doing some of this, getting my um, 2024 B6 Stology ready. Um, so this is what I have so far. I've set up up to here, as you can see, um, basically to February. I just don't have the actual monthly in february yet but i just want to do a quick flip through of um what i've done so far so i am still using the same cover that i got last year from amazon for the b6 stology um this one is a red i don't know if you can see it in there but it is a red b6 stology only a half year um and what i did is i just cut some scrap of paper and down a size and i just put it in here just to kind of cover it up 
um i'm gonna try this out for the first month and then see if i want to continue to do so if not i do have um a sticker on the cover of the actual Stology book so here i did do um another washi tape like dashboard i guess you could say um and then i have a clear pocket here which is not the best as you can see it's coming up so but i really want to keep it there i don't plan on putting anything else there so i'll probably just put some of the um glue that dries clear let me see if i have it some of this stuff right here i'll probably just use some of this and um glue it down so it won't move anymore um i'm sorry if you hear loud things it is new year's eve and people are already shooting off fireworks where i live it and of course my son is running around the house like he is a crazy man like his mom <laughs> so this is basically my um cover page for the year uh, and i have a quote here and suddenly you know it's time to start something new and trust in the magic of new beginnings um that really spoke to me and i thought it was really cute so i added it to my planner and then i just have this cute little acetate i felt like this was ce celebration um coming into the new year and i got it from joanne so i just cut that down to size and then added it here as um a tip in um and everything pretty much that you see in here except for these these are actually made hmm, i cut it up now there is um a website at the very bottom of them before i cut them up next time i'll i'll um keep them on there so you guys can see but i'll have to go back to the actual link and i can probably add it to the description box below um but everything that you pretty much see here besides that um and the pictures of course i've pulled off pinterest i created in canva and just printed out so um i did my year at a glance in canva this is just um i was really into the floral move this year i don't know why but i really am and then these are just some holidays that i know for sure um i need to know there's more than this of course but i, I need to know these holidays then this is my future log um and basically what i did is that before i took the flower off from here and cut these up and just added them here so i have them for each month i i'm pretty sure that this particular planner is not gonna last me for the entire year um year or anything like that so i just went up to august we'll see how far we get this is my um word of the year page so my word of the year is acceptance um i have yet to fill this out and i'm about to fill this out as soon as i am done filming this video this is things that i need to so a lot of people ask me why i choose the word acceptance um the reason why i choose the word acceptance is because while some may think that if you're if you're trying to accept something that's usually something you don't want to accept that is true but sometimes you need to accept where you are in say for in your relationship you need to accept where you are to be able to move forward and become better so i broke it down for friends relationships fitness finance lifestyle family career health and faith because sometimes and i mean for me not everyone but for me it is kind of hard to hey this is the way things are right now so while yes i may want to change it yes i'm trying to manifest to change it but i need to accept that this is the way that it is right now so i can make a game plan for the future so that's my year and that's how i'm thinking behind it um i have goals in 2024 which like i said for example my fitness i need to i need to accept i'm not in the best shape that i used to be so when it comes to health goals or you know working out at least two or three times a week so me accepting those particular items in those areas will also help with setting my goals in 2024 however i have already set them i just have not wrote them in um i here is a double page because i wanted it to be <laughs> kind of two different things so i have a wish list that i tipped in here and then i have a savings challenge um there's a dollar bill and it says two dollar bill so this particular one all i did was add like the flowers in behind it but this was a template in canva that was free um and yes there are two dollar bills i don't have any two dollar bills <laughs> so i guess it's just going to be putting up two one dollar bills and then five and then ten so i'm going to see if i can get that done this year 
and then we roll into my January. Um, these are a free printables from Draw Cartoonist CartoonStyle.com. Um, this is just the acetate, another acetate that I got from was it Joanne's or Hobby Lobby? Joanne's that I just tipped in here. And then here's my January cover page again, Canva, and just in adding the lettering on top of it. Here is my um, January monthly, which is not completely finished because I probably will go back and add some washi tape or something. But for now, it's fine. Um, I have a bi-weekly budget that I um, created in Canva and I have print out some more. So what I'll do there's because I do get paid on a bi-weekly basis. So for the month of January, we do get paid twice in that month. So at the beginning of every month, I will put in how many ever budget pages I need because I think there's two months in the coming up year will we get paid three times so it'll be three pages then um then i just kind of roll into my weeks so this is just my cover page um that i got from pinterest for the first week and then here's my tracker um my morning thoughts pages and then my gratitude pages i'm trying to keep it simple this year especially with this particular one because i only got a half year so i more than likely i'm not gonna use all of this but um i mean all of it i'm not gonna get the whole year in here but to try to get as much as i can in this one book what i've decided to do which i, I really I'm, I'm okay with it but i i'm gonna miss it i'm gonna keep my journaling separate so like right now um the is it with me yes so the one you guys have been seeing me journal in and i'm about, and i'm pretty much done with is this one here um, and it's a separate journal and I'll keep that going until this notebook run, runs out. Um, if I decide to purchase another 365 and I will probably put my journaling back in here. I kind of did like all the journaling in here and the paper. Um, but I'm not going to lie. I, it got big, like really, really big. Like it was so thick and it was kind of, um, cumbersome to carry around like that. So... I might just stick with the half year, see how long this takes me and stick with the half year. And because I do like the paper so much, I might just buy two of the half years in different colors and call one just my my journal. And then I'll have one for planning. So I just really like the paper. Um, then we have the first week. Uh, this, this week does have a few stickers on it. Not a whole bunch yet, but I at least want to put something out for the first week so it's ready to go. Here is the second week of... Um, January again a um, picture from Pinterest and then here I don't have the the um, the days on here but this would be my morning pages and then my gratitude pages cute little washi from five below um, this is some of that simply good washi tape that a friend of mine has had given me um a whole bunch of samples of so and then there's the week and then we have the third week they are so adorable and the tracker again the um morning pages and the gratitude this is simply gilded well both of those are simply gilded and then simply gilded again here for the week did i miss a page i did okay um, and then I have this gorgeous, gorgeous girl that I found on Pinterest. She is absolutely adorable, guys. Absolutely adorable. Um, tracker here. And warning thoughts. Gratitude here. I'm going to add some, some um, stickers. And then we have the week here. And then here is the last week. I Since it was a hybrid week going into february which is the month of love for a lot of you guys out there um for a lot of people <laughs> um one of the greatest love stories that i like is the love between um i would say love from sailor moon so i had to add a picture of her in there and then just i totally i don't know what i did here you guys i wasn't paying attention apparently it is all wonky but we're gonna make it work <laughs> So morning thoughts, gratitude pages, same thing here it looks like, yeah. And then the week, but it's okay. I don't expect it to be perfect. 
And then here we're going into the month of February and I completely like messed this little page up because what I meant to do was to put my little calendar down, but I've already done it. So I'm not going to do it, but it's just, I, so I wasn't putting a calendar down. I kind of wanted to do it the other way around. I have the, the vellum here that I got from um, Hobby Lobby on top of this picture, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm going to roll with it. It's still, it's, it's workable. Um, and then here will be the first not the first week this will be the month basically and i think this month i'm going to well for the month of february i'm going to do two monthlies um i think her name is doxina i think that's her name she does like um a monthly to keep up with her things and then she does like a monthly a sticker day i thought that was a really great idea because i have so many sticker books and they're filled with stickers I'm going to use, and then there's, there's some in it I know I'm definitely not going to going to use. So I thought that would be a fun um, way to kind of sum up my day, but also use some of my stickers. Um, I do have a couple of more of these. I kind of made a, a dashboard, or what they call it. I don't know what they call it. You can put like your thingy here if you were doing what dealing with markers or something so it wouldn't bleed but I was going to use this as an overlay and I realized how thick it was and I was like no I'll just use it for that so um I've got a couple of pictures here so you guys know that I love um Vegeta fans so I had to have a picture this one says I'm capable of the greatness my heart desires um thought that was really cute with the curls um I did not have a weekly to buy list and a bi-weekly to buy list um but I felt like I kind of needed it um I know a lot of people like to have everything that they need in the front of their planner or bullet journal, whatever you want to call this. However, I'm not that strict. So I felt like I had everything that I needed. And if there's something else that I need later, then I'll just add it in later and I'll just add a tab to it. So I know where it's at. Not a big deal. Um, this was absolutely gorgeous. This little like pink house with the roses and everything. Um, I am a big fan of Spy uh spy x family so this was adorable and then of course had to get another picture of uh serena darian so i will probably use these that this month coming up um and if you guys want to see a process video on that then i could definitely do that so i just want to say thank you guys so much for watching sorry about the long video and i hope you guys have a safe and happy new year